In this film, I'm going to talk about a method which I use to open up reflective supervision. It's a method that I've been developing over a number of years now. And as part of that, of course, I've looked at how the method, and I've used it in many different ways myself. So how it can be adapted, how it can be grown, how we can use it in different ways. And I've also developed a toolkit that people can use themselves of a set of social work postcards. Now the social work postcards can be used in a whole range of ways and there is a booklet in there with about 30 different ideas for the use of the postcards. But the original idea of postcard use came from me wanting to open up reflective supervision in a different way. So you know that some, you try and open up a, a reflective supervision session, you'll always say, and how are you feeling? And very often you just get, oh, I'm really stressed, I'm really busy, I've got lots to do, or it doesn't really go anywhere and it's difficult to take it anywhere almost. So of course I still open up with that because it's a vital question. But then we go into sharing a postcard. So I ask a student to select a postcard. They have a set of postcards from the beginning of placement and they use those through their whole placement. I ask a student to bring me a postcard to the beginning of each supervision session. Now there's a whole range of benefits of this method, but just a couple of them are from the outset, you know the student is preparing for supervision. It helps them to tune in. It often students will choose a picture based postcard, although there's lots of different postcards in there for them to choose from, they often choose a picture based one, which means we're opening up their visual thinking as well as verbal thinking. And there's loads of research around that says if we can engage our visual thinking, that enables us to enhance our analytical skills and to build and develop on analysis much more quickly. So there's a range of positives, I suppose, around the method. But this is what we do. The student brings along their postcard. We talk about, we open up supervision with, hi, how are you feeling? Just make sure the agenda's okay. And then I'll say, okay, let's have a look at your postcard and they will share their postcard. So they'll show me the postcard they've brought and they'll tell me why they've bought it. So just to give you an example, I've chosen a postcard for myself today that I can share with you on camera. So this is the postcard that I've chosen. I don't know how clear it is for you because it isn't a fully clear picture anyway, but it's basically, it's a, the shadow of a head caught in, there's some lights behind it and there's a little bit of greenery here that you can just about see if you look really closely. Now this one today jumped out at me because we're right in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic and I've been shielding for quite a long time now. And I feel like very isolated, very alone. And at times I feel a little bit like a rabbit caught in the headlights, quite scared about what's happening, what's gonna happen in the future, what's going on with my role, what's going on with social work generally, just so many questions and, and fearful in, in lots of situations. And this morning I kind of woke up feeling a bit like that. So this postcard really jumped out at me today. So the student will share the postcard and give you an explanation of why they chose that particular postcard. Then what's important is, and the feedback that I've had from students have said what they've found the most useful. They've said, yeah, it's useful to tune in and think about the postcard. It helps us to develop our emotional intelligence. But what they've really benefited from, they've said, is the way that as a practice educator, I've been perhaps able to help them to see things differently because I might see the postcard in a different way to them. Now, I don't know how you see this postcard because I can only see it as I can see it. But as a practice educator, you would then share how you feel about the postcard or what you see in the postcard or share your thoughts around it. Also, because these postcards have been specifically tailored for a variety of uses in social work, the cards have, some of them have a reflective question on the back, some of them have a statement about social work on the back or a quotation or some motivation or something on the back. So you would turn it over and together have a look at the back of the postcard and see if that has any meaning for your session. So this actually says, and I've not read it until on camera now, but this says, the eye is always caught by light but often shadows have more to say. And that's Gregory Maguire, a quotation. I think that's really valuable for me to think about at the moment. So we're often caught by the light, 
but actually what about what's going on in the shadows? Because if you do look closely into the shadows here, you can see some greenery and you can see some other things. Maybe there's some learning there for me to support my own reflection about my position at the moment. So these cards can be used in a range of different ways. Now, as I say, these are very new. They've only been out about six months now. So over the years, I've used a whole range of different postcards, just ones that I've collected. And I'm just gonna try and give you an example now of a postcard and how one person might see it in one way and another person might see it in another way. So this is the postcard. There's actually a photograph of this in the booklet with the postcard set explaining the story behind it. But this is a postcard that I picked up I used to spend ages in shops collecting postcards thinking this will represent that for someone and this will represent that. And of course they never represented what I thought they'd represent. So then I just took to just getting a pile of postcards wherever I went. And I picked up this postcard when I was at a social work conference in Iceland a good number of years ago now. Um, it was just in the middle of a bundle of postcards um, from a charity shop actually, just a big set of postcards. And when I got home, I opened them up and this was there. And I thought, well, what on earth am I gonna do with this? I imagine uh, that it's some kind of health promotion, safer sex postcard from the 1980s or something. It's all in a foreign language, I assume Icelandic. So, you know, I, I don't know because it's all in a foreign language, but I'd been laying this postcard out. I now use postcards quite a lot on training. So in large sessions, I'll put loads of postcards out and I ask people to choose a postcard for where they are now and one to represent where they want to be in six months time. It's a great CPD activity. But this postcard had been laid out in those kinds of activities for years. For three years I'd been laying out this postcard and no one had ever picked it. And then one day I saw somebody pick up this postcard. Well you should have seen me trying to listen into what this person was saying because it was so you know, unusual for this card to be picked and I thought what on earth are they going to see in it? And this is what they said. They said I'm a newly qualified social worker, I'm doing an ASYE year. I was told when I started the year that I would be given a protected caseload. But what my manager thinks is protected and what I think is protected, we might as well be speaking to each other in an entirely foreign language because we have a different view of protection. She said, when I was a student, I felt like I was really protected by my practice educator. It's like my practice educator was like a giant condom keeping me safe from what was going on around me. She said, in fact, it was like being double bagged really because I also had an on-site supervisor who was also really protective. So I had two condoms really protecting me. Now that I'm qualified, I feel like the condoms burst. I could be spreading all kinds of viruses. I just don't feel safe in my practice. Now, as soon as she said that, I thought, yeah, that's what that postcard's all about, obviously. But the person sitting next to her then enabled her to see it differently by saying this. The person sat next to her said, I'm a practice educator and I have been for a number of years now. And of course, I can totally understand what you're saying about that postcard. She said, but to me, this is how it sounds. She said, when you turned the postcard over, I thought, goodness me, I've never seen a green condom with legs on. What on earth am I going to say about that? She said, but now that I've heard what you're saying and looking at this postcard, to me, it sounds like this is the first time you're having to stand, if you like, on your own two feet in practice. In some ways, it sounds to me like you are perhaps a little bit overprotected towards the end of your qualifying time. You're having to do things for yourself now and you're perhaps feeling a bit green, a bit naive. She said, but what I don't like, I've got to tell you, this is exactly what she said. She said, excuse my language, but I don't like social workers who are too cocky about their own practice. Some people are very cocksure of what they're doing and I don't like that. I like a social worker who has professional humility. I like a social worker who knows what they don't know and knows where to go and check that out. And to me, it sounds like that's where you are now in your practice. And that's the safest place to be as a practitioner. Now you can see how in that very same postcard, the students saw it in one way, the practice educator saw it in another way, and they were able to look at each other's perspectives very clearly through the imagery and analogy of a postcard. So this can really be incredibly powerful at opening up reflective discussions and enabling the student to see things in a different way. 
I know that as I've talked about this over the years at practice educator training and conferences, many practice educators now across the country are using the postcard method to open up reflective supervision. And it is incredibly powerful. But I know that also some teams are now using the postcards as check-ins through the COVID-19 pandemic so that people can take a photo of the postcard that they've selected for that week and upload it into a group and everybody can start to talk to each other about feelings and emotions. We know as social workers that sometimes it's just about opening up that conversation, having a conversation starter, and that's what the, these postcards do. So I hope that was a good explanation of the method. If you're a new practice educator, you might want to try it out. If you're in a team, you might want to try it out as a team reflective conversation. There are tons of other ways to use the social work postcards, but there's one way of using them.